Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, I was overburdened as flying fuck still, but uh, apparently we're not going to be that far away from the village, so I might as well, you know, record the little travel to there. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, uh -huh. protecting the few of us left. That'd be nice. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Well, I mean, I can't really see it, but then again, it's kind of covered by a blizzard. So that might be why. Alright, and there we go. Every few moments I'll need to do that to be able to catch up. Good God. <laughs> this is depressing, to say the least. Oh, is this the actual barrier? Is that what that is? Oh, that might be the barrier. Okay. I'm, I'm working my way here. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm doing what I can. Alright. Is there any way I can get anyone to deal with my shit? That is the question. Alright, come on now. Alright. Father, I have returned. There is yet hope. Well, hopefully. Freya, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? Apparently not immediately. No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. Yep. I fear that it will be so. Yeah. But how is that possible? After all this time. I fear there is too much we do not yet know. I'm even yes. less <laughs> in the yeah, know at this point. Oh, I guess I'll have to, huh? Storm Craig Strider. That is that is a name. I'll have to do it this way because that's a little so easier. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. All right. Time is short. Tell me what you know. I can do. Uh, Merrick is behind what <laughs> is behind what's happening to your people. How do you know this? Well, I saw him face to face. I read a book in Mirak's temple and went somewhere. Mirak was there. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. It seems like most of it was underground they already. Speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine. But if true, yeah, that would it be bad. means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. Yep. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Aye, that I am. And, uh, Mirak did claim to be dragonborn. That is what the stories say. You are dragonborn as well, then. Yeah. Perhaps you are connected. Well, that would be weird, but okay. What does it mean if we're both dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. Or both. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. Fair enough. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the windstorm. Okay. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. Okay. Why do I need to learn a word of power for that? Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. Fair enough. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. Well, hopefully. Well, I mean, that's May good knowledge. <laughs> that's, uh, that's good enough logic as any. That's what I was going to say. But, uh... I also am overburdened as hell. Is there any way, any way I can get someone to carry the shit for me? Put an end to this evil magic before it consumes us. Well, I'm going to talk to Freya here, see if, if she can help If anyone can help us now, it is you. Fair enough, but I guess she doesn't no want to join me on this little bit of a thing I need to do. 
So where is this word of power that I need to get? Where is that uh, map? Let's look here. Oh, jeez. It's all the way over there. Uh, <laughs> fuck everything. I, I don't want to... I don't want to go all that far. You know, I, I know I can't fast travel all over encumbered. I just hope maybe... Oh, uh, maybe. Wait a second. Arvac! I can fast travel while I have myself on him. Can't I? Pretty sure. That should help me enough, right? Right? Maybe? Please? Yay! Yay! Thank God. Uh, finally, I can get rid of this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's too long. Uh, I'm gonna need to go home and restructure my fucking inventory. <laughs> Cause I can't do this every five seconds when I'm in a dungeon. Just be overburdened all the hell. I mean, not while I'm recording anyway. I could do that on my own, but not while I'm recording. Uh. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that they have enough to actually take my shit. Uh, it's a little too early in the morning. Let's wait about three hours. Ah. Uh. <sighs> there we go. Get off my horse. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was graphic sounding. Ugh. Okay. Hey, Glover. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Yeah. Don't let it go to waste. I wasn't planning on it, Looking but I still need to sell shit to you. Damage. Well, a bit of both, mainly to your bank account for the damage part. Uh. We got. I'll take these because I can at least convert them into something I can use. I can definitely convert that into something I can use. Oh, jeez. Why do I have this many arrows on me that I don't need? Oh, uh, boy. I don't think you have enough the stuff I'm trying to sell you. You probably don't. Um, Malachite, don't need that. Uh, you definitely don't have enough for the things I'm trying to drop off. Hmm. Okay. At least not the majority of the stuff I'm trying to drop off. Uh, let's see, what can I... Extreme archery, that's a thing. Uh, an imminent short grip, which I already have. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna buy this. I'm pretty sure I don't have archery. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, and I'll sell this back to him. Not gonna be happy about it, but I'll sell it back to him. Sell all of these in the meantime. There we go. Getting rid of them. One <laughs> itty bitty bit of them at a time. Okay, come on. And Ebony Shield, Elven Shield. And Yay, now I can move. Ah on my route. I'm gonna see if I can disenchant that. Ah. I was trying to itch my mouth and I couldn't talk properly if I did that. Uh, you need a rod back to the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not really. At least not that I know of. In trouble for sure, but that's about it. Ah, I did need this. Awesome. Okay. And uh, this had just magical regeneration. How much longer do you intend? Uh, I'm, I'm willing. I'm more willing to sell those than I am to just break them down. Much contact with others. Yeah, yeah. Just a skull village to the north, and that's really the only other thing around here that's civilized. Okay. Uh, I'm just happy I'm able to move, but at the same time, I'm just trying to get stuff out of my inventory that I don't need in there. I'm just happy that I hadn't already disenchanted something archery. Because 
That actually justified me getting that thing. If nothing else, then just to have it in my inventory. Well, I wasn't planning on looking into the mine for work. I was planning on selling the shit that I already have too much of in the first place. Uh, it's busier now that things are starting to look up. Well, I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. Well, there you go. Well, what do you got for look. sale? I'm just really selling stuff back to you, but might as well pick up some stuff if I can. And looks like I can definitely do that. Some lesser soul gems. A greater soul gem for sure, or a couple of them. Uh, what else? I might as well take that ebony ingot. I'll do that. Just get that off your, get that off your hands. Get rid of these for sure. Uh, gold diamond rings. I know I can get more out of those, so I'm just gonna hold on to those, especially because they don't weigh that much. All right. Uh, get rid of the scrolls. There we go. All right, what else can I get rid of that is actually a lot more weight? Doesn't look like a lot, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good on everything else. At least in Misk. But uh, potions, that I can start dropping off because a lot of these I don't need. That is 65 points of poison damage. I think I'm going to hold on to that just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of these, though. That's for sure. Get rid of these, and that, and... Hmm. Just a couple of these, for sure. Uh, I might hold on to at least one of each, just in case I run into a situation where I need them. Um, don't need True Shot. Would be useful to have that Vigor one. This one don't need, this one don't need... Um, uh, it's poison of damage health. That's one of my older ones, actually. I can get rid of that. Because this one's a little stronger than that. Um, I could hold on to this one for a lot longer than what I currently need it for. Uh, how about Fortify Sneak? I, that, I, I might be able to use that. Um, fortify stamina. What else can I... Huh. That's actually stronger than this, so I'll get rid of these. Oh, oh, jeez, I ran through your stuff quickly. Holy shit. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Uh, what potions do you have that I could use? Um, old, uh, vigorous healing, I could definitely do that. Uh, virulent, virulent. Vir virulent. <laughs> it's a problem with book learning. You can read it, but doesn't mean that you can pronounce it. Jesus. Uh, I'll take that too, because why not? A little bit more gold in his pocket so I can sell you more shit that I don't need. Uh, get rid of these for sure. Uh, which one of these is stronger? Uh, they're both the same, really. This one just has the added benefit of giving me stamina back, so I'll keep holding on to that. These, however, I don't need this many. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Uh, get rid of 18 of them. Because 5% magic is not a lot, but it, it does give me an edge if I'm being one-shotted. <laughs> Which can happen pretty easily. I'll hold on to those. Uh... What else do I got that I can just get rid of? Not a lot. Not a lot here. Uh, stamina poison for sure. There we go. And we're good. We're good. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. Well, it's more of trying to sell you shit that I don't need, which I have a lot of. Uh, still really, really uncomfortably close to 400. Ugh. Uh, I don't want to be carrying that amount of shit anymore. I'm going to recharge this back up with a black soul gem. Uh, black star, there we go. Good stuff. And, you know what? Let's go back to that village and head towards that little uh, place they were asking me to go to.
Wait a minute, what's that? Hackney Shoal. Is that what I think it is? Huh. Well, I'll find out because I'll be going by there anyway, so. One way or another. <sighs> Good gods. Being overburdened like I was this entire an entire recording session, really. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, it's painful. I don't think you realize how painful it actually is. So I know it's annoying to watch. <laughs> I don't want to show you guys that, but sometimes it just ends up that way. Especially the way I play. So I hold on to things that I know I shouldn't. Because there's barely a situation where I need them, but I want to hold on to them just on the off chance I do run into that situation, because then I feel vindicated, but then I never feel vindicated because it never happens. Ugh. Alright. Might as well head over here first before I head over to the stone and have that marked down. My person. Uh, there's something over here. What? Oh, okay. I uh, didn't realize there'd be a couple pirate anythings over here. Okay, well, I mean, grab that and dragon aspect. You know what? I never really tried that. Wait a minute. Clear skies. I can just do a goof on these guys. Do that. Oh, okay. Jesus. Come on now. There we go. Really? That didn't do... Wait. It actually did do something. It cleared the weather. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to work like it did. Oh, that's amazing. Where are you? There you are. There we go. Good stuff. You were using a pickaxe against me? Really? Really? Where did you think that was a good idea? How did you think that was a good idea? I'm still surprised that worked. <laughs> I didn't expect that to actually work, but here we are and it worked. All right then. Uh, that might have been why she hid a little bit there. She was like, wait a minute, this guy is... This guy has something else. I shouldn't be dealing with this guy. Death brand treasure map. That value, though. Holy shit. Search for the treasure of Hackner Death Brand. Oh, I guess that's what the pirate's tale is about. Okay. Death brand treasure map to find the treasure. Alrighty. For Garrick Windrime, ship's quartermaster, it was unthinkable. His grandfather had served under Hackneer nigh on 60 years before, and even then he was a legend among the pirates of the north. The King of Ghosts, they called him. As eternal and pitiless as a sea, he sailed. To Garrick, who had seen him charge into battle clad in armor of gleaming stalrim like the kings of old, his twin swords scything men like grass, Hackneer was practically a god. I might read this at a later time. Because this is probably going to take a long time to go through. I'll take that. Because that is valuable. Even despite the weight. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that armor though, not so much. I mean, it is pretty high up there in value though. Uh, fuck it. I've, I'll take it. I'll take it. And start carrying it. And hate myself because it's really, really fucking heavy. But you know what? I'm going to be restructuring after this episode. Anyway, for my in for my inventory, rather. I can't speak anymore. I'm getting burpy from my soda. Ugh. Come on. Let me get into the fucking lockbox. Come on. I'm almost there. There we are. Perfect. God fucking daca do. All right. Ring of Renewal. Hey, I can use that. Take that for sure. Alright. Uh, anything else here that I can loot? Ooh, that, for sure. That would be nice. Uh, venison chop. That's kind of worthless. At least to me. Uh, large sack. What's in the large sack? 
What's in the sack, eh? What's in the sack? What's in the sack? <laughs> it doesn't make as much sense as the box. Anyway, uh, that's the treasure chest. I assume that they were talking about in the book. So, uh, there, what? Is that what I think it is? Is that? No. That seems to be just a goofy line of texture, I assume. So I guess I'll just open this. Uh, expert that it may be. Okay. Where's, where's the spot? There it is. There we go. Perfect. Death Brand Helm, huh? Water breathing. 100 plus armor while wearing a complete set. Ooh, but it's light armor, though. So it's not necessarily my cup of tea. Huh. All right, then. Well, that's done and over with. That's good. What the hell is over there? Is that... Oh, that's a horker. Okay. All right. I was wondering what the hell that was. Because I kept seeing something moving out of the corner of my eye, but I couldn't identify what it was. But that looks like a horker there. Whoa. Oh, that's the uh, barrier. <laughs> it looks so out of place now that I've cleared the sky. <laughs> that I didn't think would actually work. Well, there's something over here as well. What is this? Or Chalcum. I don't necessarily need to grab that. Alright. So I need to head further this way. But I'm a little bit over time as it stands. So let's just get a little bit further and then get, let's get to another map marker at the very least that way I'm a little bit closer to it than I once was just a little bit ago uh, this work? Yeah, it looks like it might um, maybe that little cave over there, that cave marker maybe that'll be close enough do it that, uh, there we go, perfect all right. Well, it looks like that's actually closer, but I'm not entirely sure how I'll get to that. Okay. Whichever one of these wins, I guess I'll end up fighting. What is this? Uh, is this a random Nord just... This is a random Nord just running into fight here. Yeah, it was a Reaver Highwayman. All right, well, that happened. There we go. Let's deal with the thug first. There we go. Because this guy is going to be easier to deal with. There we go. And highwaymen. All right. Well, I mean, easily just do this. And take him out the rest of the way. There we go. Knock the body away, though. That wasn't my intention. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Take what he had, which was not a lot. But the other body? There it is. You have the Reaver Outlaw. Had even less. Jesus. Uh, there's a fox. Hey, fox. How you doing? A uh, couple of ice wraiths. Yeah, it was actually a couple of them. Thought I was exaggerating the number, but it ended up being right. Uh, Reaver Thug. Ah, this one had more than the other one. And... Ooh, that cave is actually pretty close. Uh, let's go to this. Whatever this is. Looks like a little mountain top area. From the look of it. Or a little nature spot. It's a little hard to figure out what that little map thing actually means. Oh, that's Spriggan. Oh boy. Oh boy. I do not want to get their ire if I can avoid it. Uh, can you mark off as a spot already? For me, damn it! I I don't want to piss that off. I don't want to piss it off. Uh, oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark that as the spot I'm going to end at. And can I move? Uh, okay. Well, jumping or falling. Okay. How about there? How about there? Can I fast travel? Because I haven't pissed her off yet, and I don't want to piss her off if I can avoid it. Yeah, there we go. Whew! I'm going to restructure my stuff <laughs> in the next episode, so that way I'm not overburdened all the fucking time. Alright. 
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we bring more people into this community. We can talk about the game for playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat playing games and dealing with being overburdened while also figuring out how to help the Skull people for you.